What is going on, everyone? I think we have got a pretty interesting video today. This is about a search that appears to be going on right now for one of the elusive Bronze Age 99s that does not exist. Saw some really interesting data in the CGC census updates, and I think someone's I think someone's searching for this book. Let's check it out. All right, so before we get started, please remember to hit that like button and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content like this. So I'm also going to talk about the new 9.9s and 10s that were added this week, but there were only two. There's only one up through spawn and another one that came after that. Uh, if you watched my prior video where I was talking about the nine nines and tens that are being added each week, that's one of the things that I'm tracking now. And so if there's nothing to really talk about with it, you know, I won't make a video about it, but there was something really interesting this week on what appeared to be an attempt for a major nine nine. And this was a high dollar attempt. If it is what I think I'm speculating, but looking at this book and the history of submissions with this book, I think somebody is going for the 9-9. Nine nine. So we'll get into that one first. We'll talk about that some. And then we'll get into the new 9-9s nine and 10s, the, the older ones, you know, that were added in this last week. So if you saw my thumbnail, you can probably guess which book I'm talking about. And I am talking about Star Wars number one. So I'm going to pull up uh, Go Collect here. And we've got Star Wars number one here. So it's this book right here, 1977. First appearance of all these characters, at least in this comic form. You can see a lot of copies of this book are graded. You've got a total census of 17,528. Universals is 15,995. So a lot of these out there, 883.98. Now, this is one of the books that I'm pretty sure when I made my video about the potential for the 99 pre-screen a number of months back one of the books i had identified as a possible uh, target was star wars number one because there are zero nine nines for this book and there are a bunch of nine eights 883 feels like a good target to go for that nine nine because this is a high dollar book too and a nine eight i mean look at this 30 day average 3490 90 day average 3653 it's about a $3,500 book right now in a 9.8. And this isn't just some run filler book. This is a book that a lot of people would want. And if there's just a single highest graded copy, if you get a 9.9 out there, I mean, that could easily be a 20 plus multiple. So I think 70 to 100,000 without a lot of difficulty, if you got a 9.9. And I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't be shocked at all if it was a book that went for well above 100,000, at least while it's the single highest graded. If somebody gets another one or whatever, that could be a different story. Now, why do I think that somebody made a very serious attempt at this 9.9? .9? And I'll show you. So we go over to that, that site that I've talked about a number of times recently because it's just got so much useful information on it. It's the cgcdata.com. And I don't know if it's a little hard to see. I'll zoom in just a little bit. You can see this is the census from this week for this book. We've got that 15,995, but then 883.98s. What I've been doing is I've been looking at the top 100 books on the census, the 100 most graded books on the census. And I've just been looking for outliers for changes between the weeks. And that's just something because I've been looking for nine nines. We don't know if you're always going to get nine nines. There could be something else that's interesting, you know, out there in the state. And I found something really interesting. If you look at the prior week, you can see the nine eights were 856. Now, if you're looking at big numbers like this, maybe it doesn't jump out quite as much. So then what you can do on this site is you can do a compare between two weeks. When we look at Star Wars number one in a 9.8, in the last week added 27 9.8s. This is a book, if you, you remember here, has 883 9.8s, and in one week added 27. Also 23 9.6s, which isn't a small amount. So to put this into perspective, 27 9.8s is over 3% of the 9.8 census. This is a book that's been out there being graded for 
24 years. And in one week, 3%, a little more than 3%, got added to the nine eights. And this, to me, looks like possibly a, a, maybe a 25 book 9-8 pre-screen. Maybe it's like, maybe it was like a 40 book 9-8 pre-screen. And I'll show you why this one really jumps out. I looked at the prior weeks just to make sure that this wasn't something, you know, normal. It looked like an anomaly, but I wanted to make sure. So if we look at the prior week, four 9-8s, five 9-6s. The week before that, one 9-8, three 9-6s. The week before that, this one was pretty big. This might have been another, you know, big submission. Uh, or, I mean, it could be that this is within that range, but nine, nine, eights, 10, nine, sixes. The week before that, four and five. The week before that, zero, like zero new nine, eights or nine, sixes. The week before that, one and two. And the week before that, one and one. So typically, what we're seeing with this book, with new nine eights each week, new nine sixes each week, it's like less than five. And mostly it seems like about one, two, or three. You know, you get the occasional anomaly like this nine and 10. And that, again, that could have been another attempt at this. That's totally possible. But this one, 27 new nine eights, that jumps out to me as somebody making an attempt, like we saw with Wolverine number one, trying to do a large, high-grade, pre-screen submission to see if they can get a 9-9 nine -nine out of it. And again, I know I'm speculating, but this is, this is what this looks like <laughs> based on these prior weeks. And so what if that 9-9 nine -nine comes out of this? You know, what could that book be worth? And I mean, like I said, I think I think it's it's probably around a hundred thousand dollar plus book. And the other thing I think that's interesting though is that they didn't get the nine nine. If that is what happened here, if this was a twenty five plus book, Star Wars number one pre screen, you know, I think a lot of people are thinking it's like oh, it's like a guaranteed nine nine. And so that's why I want to point out the risks as well with <laughs> with trying to go for this. It, it's not. It doesn't appear to be that it is a guaranteed nine nine or a guaranteed ten that you're going to get out of there. I mean, this is an expensive submission if that's what it is. Just 25 of them. I mean, if each one, if you if you were going to try to do it by putting together 25 nine eights, like that you know are nine eights, each nine eight right now, it's like 3,500, but we'll say 3,000 to $4,000. So right there, you have almost $100,000 in costs just for the books, probably about 90,000 in costs. Then you've got the grading. If you get a nine eight, that gets walk through tier grading. That's 4% of about 3,500 bucks. It's about, about what they'll charge you. That's $125 per book. And so if you get 25 nine eights and no nine nines, you just spent over $2,500 in grading fees just to get the same books back. So it's one of those things. It's like, yeah, you keep submitting and you hope you, you know, you hope you hit the lottery that one time, hope you hit the jackpot that one time. But if you don't, you just keep losing money <laughs> week after week. So there's definitely some risk that goes with this as well. But the reward for a book like this or a book like Amazing Spider-Man 129 or something like that, where there isn't a 9-9 prior, can be huge. And we will see what that reward really is with Giant Size X-Men 1. That Giant Size X-Men 1 that's coming up for sale, that there are no other 9-9s out there, that's the single highest graded of a major book where the 9-8 is a $20,000 to $30,000 book. Then we'll see what that one really ends up going for. I mean, that could be a $500,000 comic. I mean, so that's where the you've got that risk-reward that, that comes with these. But related to this, one of the other things that I, I looked at were what were some of the other books that had a whole bunch of nine eights added. Now, this was the one that jumped out. I, I did a comparison of the percent change for each of, for all the books that I was looking at, the top 100 graded books. And this one was five or six times higher than anything else that was on that list. So that's what I'm saying. Like it really, really stood out. But there were a couple other ones that had quite a few nine eights that got added each week. So just for awareness on how many nine eights of some of these books are out there and, and get added each week. First one is one we talked about last week. Spawn number one. For spawn number one, just for the nine eights, there were 22 new nine eights added. 
Now that's not a big percentage though. So you can see here, like there are 11, almost 12,000 nine eights. That was like 0.15%, you know, something like that. Not, not a, not a big jump in the, the nine eights there uh, in terms of percentage. Another one that had a lot added was Amazing Spider-Man number 361. Now, this is one of the ones that I think somebody might be tempted to target for a 9.9 as well. So this one had 23 9.8s added. But again, we've got 6,000 9.8s. So it's like 0.3%. It's a pretty small percentage. That's why that 3% jump in 9.8s was such a big outlier. Another real popular book. And so you can see these are the a lot of these, these are these popular books, these copper early modern type books. Uh, we've got uh, Secret Wars, number eight. So this one, I mean, the uh, the origin of the symbiote, you know, one of the most popular books in general that's out there. This one added 17 new nine eights. Now, again, there's 5,856. So 17 isn't a big percentage, but it's still a lot. Now, the one that added the, the most new 9.8s this week, X-Men number one. <laughs> so, and not the one from, you know, 1963. Uh, this is X-Men number one. This one right here from 1991, 66 new 9.8s. That was actually a pretty significant percentage. That was about 0.6%. So a pretty significant percentage increase of nine eights for X-Men number one, but still relatively small compared to the uh, the Star Wars. But that's why that Star Wars jumped out to me so much. Because one of the things I was looking at is I was just how many nine eights were added in different books. And I'm going through the list and I'm seeing, you know, Spawn number one, Amazing Spider-Man 361, Secret Wars eight, Venom Lethal Protector uh, one, X-Men one, the Silver, uh, Silver Edition Spider-Man one. Uh, X-Men number four, first Omega Red, like these books that are generally like hundred to hundred and fifty dollar nine eights, like pretty common nine eights. And then I saw Star Wars one, and I was like, that's strange. <laughs> that's weird to see that book in that list because I know how expensive that nine eight is. So I do really mm -hmm. think somebody is making a run at that uh at that nine nine or maybe even a 10 for for Star Wars number one. Now I did also mention that there were two new uh, nine, nine, ten books added uh, that I'm tracking. One up through the spawn one. As I said, what I've been looking at is golden age through spawn number one is the main thing I'm looking for. Some of those a little bit older books where the nine nines have a lot higher value. And so one was added uh, in that range. It is not a high dollar book, though. It is Batman the Cult number three. And it added its first 9.9. Nine. So there had never been a 9.9 nine of this book before. But now there is. You can see it here on Go Collect as well that 9.9 nine was added. I mean, a 9.8 is like a 50. I think the last sale was maybe like 38 bucks. So it's like a 30 to $50 book. So a 9.9 nine is probably 150 or $200. Like this type of book doesn't usually get that 20x multiple. Like someone isn't looking to spend a grand on a 9.9 of this, but they'll probably spend, you know, 150 or 200 bucks. The other one was actually a Tenno. So there was a, a Tenno that was added. Now this one was much later. This was from 2010. So the Tenno that was added was Tales from the Fringe, number two, another relatively obscure uh, title here. And so we've got Fringe, Tales from the Fringe, number two, and this book has its, its second Tenno. Uh, so actually, uh, they don't show the census here. If they haven't had a sale, so it means there hasn't been any sales, uh, Go Collect doesn't pull in the census. I take my word for it that that book has one nine nine, uh, two tens, and uh, this is one of the, the new tens that was added for this book. But that's all I wanted to talk about this time. I mean, I just think that this is, it's fun tracking this kind of this kind of information because you just never know what you're going to find like you really never know what you're going to see in this data and i sure wasn't expecting to see what appears to be a pre-screen 98 submission attempt for star wars number one now that's what i've been talking about i i've i've mentioned that i feel like those are real possibilities but that one's expensive you got to have some pretty serious money to risk if you're going to go after a book like that 
uh, like I mentioned in that prior video, going after like Secret Wars 8, Amazing Spider-Man 361, like those types of books that are a few hundred bucks, you know, three to four hundred dollars in a nine eight. You can do that and it's like 10 grand. A lot of people can pull in 10 grand to make that that gamble. But this was basically around a hundred thousand dollar probably attempt, maybe even more, because I don't know how many of those nine sixes were maybe part of this. This might have been a nine six pre-screen. I don't know if it was if it was that or why there were so many nine sixes as well. But yeah, just something I thought was interesting. And uh hopefully you enjoyed this. And you know, one of these times we're gonna catch one of those really big books that gets added in that week. It's gonna be like the Star Wars number one, Amazing Spider-Man 129. One of those books, and it'll be it'll be fun to fun to talk about. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe button, notification bell, and we'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.